Let u be the three vector, one, two, minus one. And let w be the subspace of R3, given by all vectors orthogonal to u. Find a basis of unit vectors for w. Now, first, let's find w itself, and then we'll go looking for a basis. Now, what do we have? So we're gonna let angle brackets be the standard inner product for R3. Then W is just gonna be defined as this set here. We're gonna take all V and R3, such that if I take the inner product of U and V, we get zero out. So if I let V be equal to the vector X1, X2, X3, when I take the inner product, what comes out is X1 plus two X2 minus X3. And if I want orthogonal, we set that equal to zero. So we're trying to solve the equation x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 equals zero. Now, if we move that over to matrix form, so we'll have one, two, minus one, we're just trying to find the null space of this matrix. Now, it's already in reduced row echelon form, so we only need to interpret. So, our pivot column, okay, that's gonna be the first one, that's gonna go with the variable x1, and that's gonna be our dependent variable. For x2 and x3, there are no pivots okay, in those columns, so those will be independent variables. And so we're gonna have a basis with two dimensions. We'll have two basis vectors. Now, the way we get those basis vectors, okay, we're gonna take our single equation. What are we gonna do? We're gonna let one of our independent variables be equal to one, and then we let all the rest be equal to zero. So what do we do? First, I'm gonna let x2 be equal to one, let x3 be equal to zero. That's gonna give me our first vector, w1 equal to minus two, one, zero. Now, we want unit vectors, so we have to find the length and then divide by that. The length squared is just given by taking the inner product of the vector with itself. So what comes out? We're gonna get four plus one plus zero is gonna give me a five, and I take the square root, so I get a square root of five. So the unit vector that goes with W1, I'll call N1, it's gonna be minus two over square root of five, one over square root of five, zero. If I check the length of N1, what happens? So I'm gonna take the inner product of this vector with itself, so I'm gonna get four fifths plus one fifth plus zero, and that gives me a one. Okay, how about our other vector? So here we're gonna let X2 be equal to zero, X3 be equal to one. So W2 is gonna be equal to one, zero, one. We're gonna find the length, so I take the inner product of W2 with itself. So we'll get one squared plus zero squared plus one squared gives me a two. And then the length's gonna be squared to two. Divide by the length, and so N2 is gonna be equal to one over squared to two, zero, one over squared to two. I check its length, so we take the sum of the squares of the entries. That's gonna give me a half plus zero plus a half, and I get a one. So that checks that we have a unit vector. So our basis for W is gonna be, okay, first vector minus two over square root of five, one over square root of five, zero. Second vector, one over square root of two, zero, one over square root of two. Of course, we wanna check our work. So we wanna verify that we're orthogonal to U. The way we do that, we take the inner product with U, see that zero comes out. So if we take our first vector, N1, we take one, two, minus one against minus two over square root of five, one over square root of five, zero. Dot product gives me, so just multiply across, add minus two over square root of five plus two over square root of five plus zero gives me a zero. So that checks out. Then we'll take u against n2. That's gonna give me one over square root of two plus zero minus one over square root of two, and we get zero again. So that checks out also.